To get super specific, we got a question that came in from Pauline here on the live feed. She's, she's asking, Sarah, would tights be acceptable once the top is long enough to cover the bum? What would you say? <laughs> I love all the, this is so complicated. Um, okay, so here's my thing on this. Um, it's not so much when you're standing, it's when you're sitting. I mean, this is this is something I've talked to like a lot of guys about because like when you stand up and you have like a shirt that covers your bum or, you know, whatever, what happens when you sit down? Like, does it be like, does it go up so high that and all of a sudden you're just in like, you know, it just looks like you have on leggings again. Um, I have a couple hard and fast rules for me. I don't have anything in my wardrobe that has spandex in it because it just is easier for me to like not have to play the game of like what you know what is what isn't it's just easier um but tights again like if you're talking like tights because it's winter and they're wool and it's under your dress like or we're talking those tights you know um but like i feel every woman out there like yes leggings are comfortable yes yoga pants are comfortable yes those are all things that like of course we all want to wear them i go to great lengths trying to find comfortable pants that don't have spandex in them it is hard like it is really hard but that fight is worth it because again like it just, I'm a mom of five and like, I, I want to, you know, I want to just be able to be free, but I'm not like distracting anyone. I'm not hurting anyone. I'm not doing anything that is going to cause them. And for, and for a lot of guys, it, it's really hard for them with the whole chastity, modesty, pornography, that whole temptation thing. Um, and that's the other thing is I do this full time. So part of my ministry is listening to guys, to, to men weep in front of me because they are struggling so much with this stuff so like my compassion like can i go find a pair of pants that are a little more loose for them hell yes like that's how i feel about it it's like i see in my mind thousands of guys who are trying to kick habits and trying to love women and trying to like dispel every lie that they've ever had about women and i watch them fight and i'm like i can find a different dress for this wedding for them that's just easy like I can do yeah. that. So I think that I just call all my women out there just like, again, it's selfless. It's sacrificial. It's hard. I wish we could start a clothing line that's just like, you know, easy to go to and click and buy. But part of the part of the challenge is saying I'm going to fight for the men. And part of that is I'm going to shop in a way that is freeing for me because I can go to my closet and I don't have to question anything. Yeah, and, and I think with the the question of, you know, layering is often a good option when it comes to modesty. Um, yep. But in terms of how, how long, low the layer should go, I would say, well, think about it as a skirt. You know, how short of a skirt would you wear? Like, would you wear a skirt as long as it barely covered your bum by a quarter of an inch? Now we're in the clear. Odds are, well, no, if it were a skirt on its own, then I wouldn't want it to be that short. Well, well, what's the difference, really, if it's just coming from the top down versus right. starting from the waist down? And, you yeah. know, these are challenging. And, you know, Pauline's, you know, got a question, too. Well, what about exercise? You know, can I can I wear it for exercise? And I would imagine the question, the answer would be pretty much the same, that it doesn't matter for guys in the gym or guys in the classroom, you know, opt for modesty. And, it, and it's a bummer because you go into, like, a woman's workout store and it's, like, 99.999% yoga pants. Like, you cannot exercise in anything but yoga pants but you know right. maybe maybe you know hey wear the tights but then just put on some soccer shorts on them or something like that i don't know what, what would you recommend yeah. for someone who just practically wants to have something that's breathable comfortable that they can sweat yeah. in for exercise but at the same time it's modest. like it's like the worst right like i i mean i feel for everyone right now out there that's young and, and you know like you said working out doing all these things because it's it's like fighting like an impossible game like trying to find this stuff like it's really hard it's like mining for gold but one of the things that my husband and i i these are questions that i like went round and round with all the college students with when i was writing the book because i tried out all of my book on i had a lot of people read it and i had a lot of people go through it and one of the guys uh, it was my husband and, and this other guy. I was asking them about all this stuff. And um, and again, my husband was a college football player. And he always said, he's like, oh, he's like, in the gym, I always worked out with my shirt off. There's mirrors everywhere. And like if girls would walk in, it was like, bonus. Like the guys are already like watching me work out. It's like, oh, the girls are here watching me work out. You're so aware of like yeah. who else is working out with you. And so, you know, like Andy, my husband was just like, if you're working out, like turn around and you have three people staring at you, like they're not looking into your eyes, thinking about what a beautiful, you know, color blue they are. Like, you know, you you really are at a place where, again, gems are kind of prone to that. Like, 
it's just like, kind of like a, everyone's looking at each other. Everyone's checking each other out. You know, like it's, it's kind of that. And so I just, I really, again, I want to reiterate, like this all comes from a place of love and like, this is hard stuff. It took me a long time to really go through my wardrobe and say, dang, this is so stinking hard. So, I mean, for me, I work out in like, um, cute little like gym shorts but I, my whole thing is like fingertips like I have to be standing and my fingertips have to touch the very it's like very old school Catholic girl Catholic school skirt thing like having them touch the end you know like and then also can you sit and kneel in Indian style and do all the things that you need to be able to do uh, and still feel really comfortable with it so it is the worst I hate talking about modesty I wish it wasn't a thing I mean it's just it's just so hard because it isn't easy and everyone feels like no matter what you say, you throw everybody under the bus. It's ever where, you know, if you've ever worn leggings or if you've ever worn tights, like, it, you know, it's, it's, you're not in trouble. You're not all these things. It's just one of those things that I think we have to be like, it's like a little bit sensitive to, especially to this day and age that we're in where it's just kind of everywhere. And um, the other thing I'll say is if you've ever heard a couple guys talk about a woman inappropriately wearing yoga pants or tights um, and said things about her that are demeaning, um, everybody that comes after me with modesty, it's like, that's demeaning. Not me saying that we should wear a little more clothes to help our brothers out because they're fighting a battle we will never understand. Like pornography, like lust, the eyes, everything. I mean, those are battles that we'll never understand as women to a level that, I mean, men are, you know, turned on by what they see. Women are turned on by what they hear. Men are turned on by what they hear. Women are turned on by what they see. Like you mentioned it earlier. It's a both and all of the above. Check A, B, C, and D. It's all of it. But in my book, I joke that like if a girl's driving down the street and a guy has his shirt off and he's running, it's like, it's not hot, put your shirt back on. If a girl's running topless down the other side and the guy drives by, it's a car accident. He's gonna get into a car accident, right? Like there's something to be said about the way we perceive each other. And if a guy is just like a helpless, hopeless flirt and get, and like says all the right things and texts her, hey baby, how was your day? And all this stuff, to think that that's not gonna do something to us as women is a lie. Like that's a lie. So to wear, to wear, you know, leggings with a crop shirt tied in a knot and just be like, why is everyone freaking out about it? Like, what are these guys problem? You know, it's like, I just think it's kind of like, what? Like, that's hard. Like, that's hard on them. You're beautiful. And I'm happy that you're beautiful. And your husband is going to love that. He is going to love that. And so save it for him. Let that be your greatest gift to him. Let it, let like, let all that energy of like, I don't know, like, I want to just be able to flaunt it, like attract the, be the bait that you want to, you know, attract the kind of fish you want to attract. And for me, it's that guy who's like, I want to love her well. I don't want to use her. I want to protect her dignity. I don't want, like when I was in college, I loved to dance, like love to dance. And um, my, I went to wedding dances a lot, like Sarah Swafford, good dancer. So my, my sophomore year of college, I transferred to Benedictine and it's homecoming, homecoming dance. And I'm just bringing out all my moves. You know, I'm just like out there on the dance floor. And two of my great guy friends pulled me aside, like at the dance. And they were like, we love you. You're beautiful. I just want you to know that when you dance, sometimes think guys think about like what you would be like in bed that's you are like <laughs> we know that that's not your intention we know that that's not what you're thinking but like that's sometimes what people think i was like 17 levels of mortified like i just like i mean i seriously like i went to the bathroom and like hid i was like so embarrassed and i just sat there and i was like i never really thought like that do you know what i mean like i never like i never thought put that all together and so i'm sure you're thinking like oh my gosh like i would be so mad at these guys like you know and, and i sat there for a minute and i was like so embarrassed and then I finally like emerged from the bathroom and I found these two guy friends of mine and I just looked at them and I said, thank you. Like I, no one else could have said that to me, but you too. And like, it means the world to me that you want to protect me in that way and that you care enough about me to say that. And so I always say people think that like, I was probably mad at these guys, but like I ended up marrying one of them. So not yeah. mad. Uh, yeah. It actually was just like a great gift to me. And I share that story because again, sometimes we just don't know. We don't, it's not, there's no intention. There's no like, yeah. um maliciousness with it it's just we don't understand how the other how the opposite sex works and so for all the guys out there be really careful with women's emotions uh yeah, no, to all, I remember, you know both sides all the above i remember hearing one comedian say that if women knew what men were thinking they'd never stop slapping us now i don't think it's that bad <laughs> I, I think with some guys it's that bad Not, you can't Maybe. generalize an entire gender but that's why ministry or, or modesty is a ministry of beauty you know, modesty is the guardian of love. Modesty is empowering. And so, you know, Pauline sent a message. She said, thanks, Sarah. I understand. 
I will miss my tights. <laughs> you know, <laughs> there's, a, there's a sense of loss that you might feel, but understand that modesty is empowering. It's authentically empowering to women. You know, whereas immodesty promises, oh, totally. you know, this is empowerment. You can pick whatever outfit you want, but to have the power to build up a civilization of love through sacrifice and a sense of responsibility for one another. And I can understand girls be like, what the heck? Like, why should I have to trash my Lululemon pants that I love so much just because some little perverted guy who looks at porn on his cell phone all day, can't control his imagination, but it's just like, hey, a sense of responsibility totally. for one another. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that little clip, but if you want to see the whole episode where this came from, just click the link here. And in the meantime, we want to invite you to help us share this message. And there's a couple things you can do real quick. Number one, if you like or comment or share this video, YouTube will actually show it to more people. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. We release videos every single day and you'll be notified as soon as those come out. If you want to help us also to spread this message, you can support us at patreon.com slash Jason Everett. That helps us to create these videos and show them to the whole world. God bless.